so this is it. I am saying goodbye to my apartment for the next four and a half months. There's my luggage there that's going with me to Korea. Everything else is either in storage or in storage. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. We're about to go to my sister's place for, t for the night. Y'all know Felicia. And then, um, oh, in about 11 hours, I will be on my way to Korea. Let's go take a look at my bedroom. Look at that. It's so empty now. There's like nothing in here. Okay, that's a lie. Well, I have to put that in the car. But the room is mostly empty and it's ready for the new girl to move in um, in about a week. And yeah, and then I will be back here in four and a half months. Bye. <laughs> okay, we've dropped off all my stuff at my sister's place and we've chilled with her for a little while. Um, but she's gone vegetarian. Ooh. I know there are some vegetarians out there. I'm sure you like the lifestyle, but yeah, probably not good in my family. <laughs> um, so we're just off to get some food. We're going for sushi. There we go. One thing you can always you can always rely on in America is that you're going to see an American flag. Look, there's one right there. And if we look across the road, so in the direction we're headed, that is one right there as well. But not enough wind to show it to us. I think on any given journey around, um, oh look, okay, there are two straight ahead. Um, just driving around the regular streets in America, you will find the American flag everywhere. And the weird thing is that some of them are small, they're all different sizes, but some of them are big enough to cover an entire shopping center. They're just huge. Look, there they are. beside each other almost you know I kind of think they do it well I kind of think they do it because they don't want you to forget which country you're actually in because I, I, I get where they're coming from I mean seriously how many people out there are so forgetful that they have no idea where they are must be an American affliction <laughs> Something that I've come to appreciate while I've been in America and something that is definitely true for a lot of things but definitely for restaurants in America is that you should not judge a book by its cover or in this case you should not judge a restaurant by the exterior. It looks really dodgy but this is actually a really good place to eat and it's right near Chinatown. The problem with coming here um, with us coming into Salt Lake is this is where all the good restaurants are. <laughs> And it's, oh, spoiled for choice. We knew we were coming for sushi, but as soon as I saw that we were getting closer to the Asian area, I'm like, oh, but I want this, and I want this, and I want this. I want so much. I'm very needy. Here we So, <laughs> I have to get some. 